Good afternoon and welcome from the Ebb Stadium where all the short time hosts Salford City in the Manorama National League. And it's after awesome trying to form over the winter period to see the shots dragged into relegation battle and they are eight points from safety. Gary Waddock sticks with the same side that showed good desire on Tuesday night's defeat to Leith Orient though. Salford City didn't play on Tuesday. Graham Alexander fields the same 11 that has won three in a row. Adam Rooney scored a hat-trick in the reverse fixture and he returns to the bench after a period out injured. Here's Dev Redmond placing the ball down on the left-hand side and plenty of height in the box in Matt Green, Manny Dizarugwe, Maynard, Pond and of course Pirjani. In comes the ball from Redmond, it's headed up in the air towards the back, Hogan gets the cross, brings it down and Maynard just got underneath the ball, gave it that top spin which took it over the bar. First chance of the game to Salford, unsurprisingly coming from a set piece. Here's McDonnell, many A's. His ball falls closed down by Maynard, who's clipped, but advantage says the referee. Green out left to Disruve Wayne. Disruve Wayne onto his right, takes a low shot. Straight down and Jake Cole though makes the save. And the ball's loose on the right hand side for Aldershot and McDonnell can now bring it away down the middle into Rendell. Slid forward, Mensa charging away from Pierjani, brings in on the right hand side. Coming in now, order shots onto his left hand side. Shot blocked by Carl Pierjani though, throwing himself down to the ground. I think it was John Goddard's breaking away there. Back to Wiseman, Mafusa again. Now across to Pierjani. Bringing this quite a way forward. Now passes out left for Torre. Swings the cross into the six yard area. Bounces down and off the goal line. That's a brilliant clearance by Elagobi. Day's not clear though. Green. Great save by Mangan. And the ball's out behind for a corner. But what a clearance from George Elagobi. Back on the goal line with an overhead bicycle kick. He stayed down as he landed there. It was some way in the air that he's fallen from. Direct in from Torre, left footed, Maynard flicks it on, Hogan coming round the back, stooping diving header, but the captain just sends that one wide, it comes off the stanchion behind the goal. Ball out into Hogan, Hogan's pass forwards, given away, and can't control the rebound, comes down to Barkley Agupong, driving down the left hand side, Pond claiming for offside, Agupong takes it himself, it comes off Chris Neal and out for a corner. I think Salford plays remonstrating that the linesman has actually flagged for offside but the ball had come off Hogan so it wasn't offside all the shot perfectly okay to play on there and Barkley Agdubong I suppose your only complaint is that he's not taking the shot on and Wiseman with the throw now for Salford down the line looking for Green substantially in the way so I can't see what's going on but Green in possession the ball comes into Murfuta at the top of the area Squared across to the left into Torre in space. Now trying to take on his man, short pass to his roofway, return to Torre, cross comes down into the middle, now comes to Redmond, fires a low shot in, and Salford leads 1-0. It's Redmond's first goal for Salford since joining in January. He went so close last weekend, but this time there was no missing from just over 14 yards out, a low shot to the bottom left-hand corner. Cole couldn't get down in time, and Salford leads 1-0. Was number 15, Torre swings this cross in. Can we get Pond glance it back in and Salford double the lead? It's another set piece conceded goal for all the shots, but the flag's gone up and the referee has given a goal kick. All the shot playing quickly, Salford not realised yet. Players surround the assistant asking why that one's not been given. And it has been chalked off, it is still only 1-0 to Salford, just to clear that one up. Mensa, back to Elakobi, forward again into Mensa, expect all the shots will throw everything at Salford in this half, they did against Orient, and here's Mensa, takes a shot from a distance out, straight at Neil though, that's a comfortable save, coming the ball down. Referee blows his whittle, Goddard right footed, strikes it and it's onto the bar by Chris Neal, a wonderful save from the 33 year old, it was on target right into the top corner 
but Neil just got enough hands to palm that one onto the top left hand corner and make the catch in the save so still 1-0 to Salford and he's got enough to dive shots away from their relegation woes Rendell to Goddard Goddard into Barclay Kupong comes back to Barclay Kupong out to the left hand side offside as it's rifled into the back of the net he had the feeling on the overlap there that McDonnell had gone just too early and the linesman on the near side confirming that as he raises his flag in plenty of time and Salford keep the one goal lead Barclay Kipong coming forward plays the ball back out to the left back Booty now across to Howell Howell into uh, Rendell challenged well by Piergiani ball picked up by Booty though into McDonald. McDonald takes the shot towards the far post but another top draw save from Chris Neal he only saw that one late on gets across to his right hand side makes the save and keeping Salford in this one yet again got two minutes plus added time to go Barclay Agupon coming forward now facing Gaffney but Gaffney dispossesses him and now drives Salford away he's got no options directly ahead of him Rooney's up there Gaffney's forced back into the right back position but he clips a nice pass up into Wiseman and Wiseman now charging forward on the right hand side not to go around his man Booty tried to put him off there and he brought him down it's a free kick for Salford and should be a yellow card for Regan Booty as well it's a silly challenge there and it's the second yellow and it's Regan Booty for showing his marching orders it was Adam McDonnell Adam McDonnell sorry is uh, but for a second yellow card and sent off it's a silly challenge to make on a yellow and Adam McDonald finds out the hard way it's a draw of breath as this cross comes in towards the back post it's headed towards goal and it's a great clearance by Lois Maynard just a couple of yards out overhead as well gets the ball well clear from whoever's header that was and the danger cleared for now for Salford Howell coming across to the right hand side and here's Mensa taking on Torre but as he gets past him the whistle goes for full time and Salford City record a fourth win in the row here at Aldershot Town it's finished 1-0 that goal from Devontae Redmond late in the first half proving the difference a much better second half performance from Aldershot but they couldn't find a way past the unbeatable Chris Neal who also keeps the joint season best fourth three sheet in a row.